Hello everyone, welcome to another episode, and today we have the Aggies, my Texas A&M Aggies. Listen, if you followed this podcast, you know that the Aggies are my second favorite team. Um, I've always liked the Aggies, uh, even with Oklahoma going to the SEC, uh, the a and is still probably going to be my second favorite college team. Um, so... With that being said, Mike Elko becoming the head coach this offseason because they fired Jim Mo Fisher, which so happy about that. That was like such a good move because he was really bad. Um and then continuing with Connor Wayman as the starting quarterback, and he has some really good potential. Like I thought he played good. And the offense was where the struggles were. The defense was really good last year. So I think that with um, how Mike Elko comes in and sets the culture, he doesn't seem to have a lot of nonsense. I watched him take Duke last season, and they became a ranked team. And Duke is not known for football. It's like Kansas. They're not known for football, right? They're good. They're known for basketball, and they became really. They became a bowl team, and they were ranked at one point. So that to me is highly enough for him to be, uh, you know, on my board. So let's get into this uh, schedule. Uh, but before I do that, ceiling, I think, is 11 wins. Floor is... Um, 8. What was that? Okay, week 1. Playing the Notre Dame Fighting Irish at home in College Station. Uh, I bet College Game Day is going to be there uh, for that game. Uh, they're going to take uh, the win there. Then they play McNeese State at home and take another win before traveling to the Swamp to play the Gators and taking a win. Then they get Bowling Green at home and win. And then they travel to Dallas to play Arkansas at at t Stadium and they win. Then they get the Mizzou Tigers at home. And they win there. Going into the bye. 6-0. Feeling good. Uh, then the they travel to Clarksville to play Mississippi State. And they take the win there. They get the LSU Tigers at home. And they get the win there. Then they travel to South Carolina and beat South Carolina. Going into their second bye. To play, and then playing New Mexico State winning that game, and losing to Auburn, and then winning against the Texas Longhorns in the final week. Um, like I said, I think there's probably a few flip games on this. Probably, I don't know. I just thought they would have a weird loss, and that would be Auburn. They typically just kind of do that. Uh, it's been that in the past, but they could lose to Texas, but I don't think so. So, Giga Mags. Horns down. That's how I think that Fight Naggies will do in 2024.